What is going on everybody? Welcome into another episode of Shigging with Chandler. Shigging is all about stealing from other pitmasters. We're not stealing, we're giving it away for free. Today I'm going to show you how I make Parmesan sweet potatoes with Italian garlic butter. Let's get into it. So I don't know how many of you are like me and you're married and your spouse is kind of tired of the food that you cook. You know, I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy. I like heavy foods, heavy flavors. Uh, every once in a while we'll lighten it up with something, but for the most part, steak and potatoes is where it's at, right? And so every once in a while, Julia gives me a hard time and she's like, you know, we gotta do something a little lighter. You know, you don't, you don't wanna be so round anymore. Uh, so, so we go with a, Compromise. So we compromise, we go with something a little healthier, and I'm like, all right, cool, we'll make sweet potatoes, and I'll do that for you. And then the compromise is, is that I get to coat it in Italian garlic butter and Parmesan cheese. Seems legit. So a couple nights back, we had chicken Caesar salad wraps with these potatoes as a side dish, and it was a perfect compromise, light meal, made everybody happy, made me happy. All right, before we get started with anything today, we're going to turn our oven on and preheat it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, time for our mise en place. First things first. So I went ahead and I took two, uh, two sweet potatoes and we diced them up into about one inch squares. Uh, sweet potatoes are really hard to chop in the same size. Just do the best you can. Some are gonna be a little bit bigger. Some are gonna be a little bit smaller. Um, just do the best you can, a little rough chop. This ain't no, you know, Michelin star restaurant. Just in the house cooking it up, doing it, doing it for the family. So once you get your sweet potatoes prepped, we're gonna work on our Italian garlic butter. So you're gonna start with six tablespoons of salted butter, and we're gonna melt that in the microwave for about 20, 25 seconds. All right, throw this in the microwave. Perfectly melted. Whoop, find it. Uh, we didn't want to go too far where like those milk solids really separate out, but it's just enough to get it melted here. We're gonna set that off to the side. Next thing we're gonna do is take six whole cloves of garlic and chop those up. So one thing we're gonna do that's really key to this is we're gonna take the flat edge of this knife and we're gonna, if this is our garlic clove, we're gonna press the back end of this down and really just put pressure on that and, and just smush that chopped garlic under the back end of that knife. Now what that does is it takes all those little granules of garlic and it sort of like compresses them down and it releases more garlic flavor. If you don't like garlic flavor as much, you don't, you can skip this step. I love garlic flavor, my family loves garlic flavor. So we're punching it up here. Bah. Chop the garlic, make the money. All right, now we're gonna get these diced up. And we want this garlic chopped pretty fine here. Again, that's kind of a preference thing. You can do whatever you want, but like for me, I don't love biting into huge chunks of garlic. You can hear as I'm running that knife blade across that garlic to release that extra garlicky goodness, you can just hear the, uh, the outer membranes of those little pieces further breaking down, releasing all that juice out. You can just smell it just coming up off the cutting board here. Then we're gonna add our chopped garlic straight into the melted butter. Next, we gotta add a little more flavor to our Italian garlic butter. So we're gonna hit it with a little bit of kosher salt and a little bit of cracked black pepper. Last seasoning we're gonna add here is our Italian seasoning. Uh, I'm not making this from scratch tonight. This is just Kroger's Simple Truth Organic Italian seasoning. I'm gonna say about a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon here. I'm just gonna dump it right in my hand, sort of free, free measure it here. Yeah, that feels right. Mama would be proud, cooking with a little love. A little love tonight. Last thing we're gonna do is whisk it all together. A little taste. Hmm. Is there any better flavor combination than just like melted butter and garlic? 
when we put this in the oven and all this stuff starts to roast and that moisture cooks out and those flavors intensify, so good. Uh, this needs a little bit more salt and it's gonna be good to go. All right, next thing we're gonna do is add our Italian garlic butter straight onto our potatoes and toss them super, super well. weird habit of like slapping the side of stuff when I'm done with it. I think it's like the only OCD thing about me. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we have shredded Parmesan cheese. Real quick, we have two types of Parmesan cheeses tonight. You don't have to do this. I'm just, you know, if you're gonna make bougie potatoes, you might as well go all the way and make them real bougie. So we got shredded Parmesan cheese here and we've got uh, grated Parmesan cheese here. And so the big difference is this grated stuff is sort of like paper thin sheets here and that's gonna be our finishing Parmesan cheese. So every, everything comes out of the oven. We're gonna sprinkle that on top and then we're gonna boil it for two minutes and it's gonna melt a little bit, get a little brown. This other stuff, this is what we're putting in for the mix. This is gonna cook the whole time in the oven back here, which is about 30 degrees from being preheated. So we gotta hurry up. It's just like the garlic mixture, we wanna add all this in here. Just like the garlic mixture, we wanna add all this in here and then uh, thoroughly mix it. Anybody else sing when they cook, man? Cooking just makes me happy. I'm just feeling good on the inside while I'm doing this. You make it bougie potatoes, you start thinking about, you know, bougie chefs and Michelin star kitchens, and dude, them dudes can cook. I just don't have, I don't have the discipline to learn how to do that. Oh my God. That's so good. That saltiness from the salted butter, our salt seasoning, and then our salted Parmesan cheese here. Ready to roll. But that salted Parmesan cheese, really, really nice with these potatoes. I'm gonna add another pinch of salt at this stage because I think it needs it. Let's go two pinches. The thing is, is that you really want you know, seasoning is so, there's that tap thing again. Seasoning is so important while we're cooking. We gotta season the whole time along. Uh, I was watching this Netflix show called uh, The Chef. So much of our culture lives in our food. And if you ate something growing up and you have a taste for it, you seek it out, that's gonna keep that alive. The food sticks with you. Thank you for having us in your kitchen. What's it called, The Chef? The movie John Favreau made with Chef Roy Choi uh, about the guy that was in a formal kitchen and then he owns a, gets a food truck, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, they have this cool little like cooking show that they filmed together on Netflix. It's great, I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, you need to go check it out. Um, but Chef Roy, he goes and he's talking about seasoning food while you go and what a lot of people do and what I used to do before I saw this was that I would only season stuff at the very end. And he says, no, 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 you wanna really make sure you're aggressively seasoning the whole time you're cooking, not just towards the end. Because what happens is, is that as these vegetables or meats or whatever, as they heat up, what happens is those pores, they kinda like, they, they, they open and when those pores open, all that salt, all that flavor, all that butter, all that garlic gets sucked in, just like that. And then as it cooks, those pores close back up, as they caramelize on top, nice and brown, and then we'll season it again right at the very end. And then now your seasoning has run the whole way through that vegetable versus just sitting on top. All right, last thing we're gonna add to a bowl here is about a tablespoon of olive oil. And the big thing, the reason I'm adding this olive oil here is that I just don't want these potatoes to stick to the bottom of this pan. And like, you know how when you're making sweet potatoes sometimes, they'll stick to the bottom of your baking sheet and they'll sort of like, they become like sweet potato paste as they get mushed around. So, not a good look, not a good look. I'm being bougie tonight, man, bougie. Bougie chefs don't do that. Heck no. Let me know in the comments below while we're finishing this mix up, what is your favorite cooking chef foodie movie to watch? I'm always looking for good recommendations. All right, those are nice. All those potatoes are looking shiny. Back to tasting, taste that olive oil. Fire. Next thing we got here, this is my medium baking sheet. We're just gonna lay these potatoes out flat on this guy and then we're gonna throw them in the oven. 20 minutes later. All right, we got about two minutes left on this. We're gonna go check it out. Those are looking 
good, looking good. So, I'm gonna go ahead and explain what we're gonna do because we're almost out of time and when these things come out, we're gonna be moving quick here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out of the oven, we're gonna put it down here on our wood cutting block, we're gonna flip as many of the potatoes over as we can to try to get a nice even cook on that. And then, we're gonna turn our oven on, on broil and while that's heating up, we're gonna take our flaky Parmesan cheese and sprinkle it right on top. All right, so we got our broil heating up. Gotta hit start, Chandler. Gotta hit start, Chandler. All right, so oven mitt on the left hand because pan is hot. And then we're gonna take our spatula, slide them right underneath, do a little flip. Right underneath, a little flip. Man, I wish you guys could smell this. Y'all gotta make this and tell me what you think about that smell because these little golden brown Oh my gosh, these potatoes smell so good. Again, we're tasting the whole time. A little sampleage goes a long way. Those are good. Perfectly cooked, nice crunchy outside, nice soft inside. So, flaky cheese right on top here. Getting my seasoning on. We're gonna throw this guy back in the oven on the broiler setting for I'm gonna say two minutes max, but again, your oven, cooking is watching, cooking is tasting. You need to be paying attention here. While that's finishing up, we're gonna get our bougie bowl for plating. So the photo op's ready. seconds and we were good to go. All right, now this is important. While everything's still laid out here and the grease and moisture from those potatoes is still there, we want to throw a little bit of finishing salt on top. If you've got a little like rosemary kosher salt or something, that would be really good right here. Um, I just have regular kosher salt tonight. Season generously. Don't be afraid of the seasoning. We're gonna take our potatoes, put them right in the bowl. All right, last thing to do, taste. That ain't half bad for a bougie potato. You guys give this recipe a try and let me know in the comments below what you thought about it. Actually, you know what, make it, take a photo of it and tag me at Shigan with Chandler on Instagram and I'd love to see what you did. Did you try something new? Did you follow the recipe to a T? Let me know. That's some good stuff.